It is Tuesday, February 21st. There's something inside me that pulls beneath the surface, consuming, confusing. This lack of self control, I fear, is never ending. And an absolutely beautiful day out here today. 52 degrees in the middle of February. And uh, you'll have to excuse my voice. I, like most of the entire East Coast, am suffering a little bit of chest phlegm and throat soreness at the moment. Can't imagine why. I mean, look, you could sit here and say, can you believe these motherfuckers? But yes, this is the shit they're going to do. The entire fucking United States is derailing trains and fires all over the fucking place. Brooklyn right now, I just saw, breaking out a massive fire. Okay, what the... fucking place, but we're definitely not under attack in any way. Of course not, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> it's all happenstance and coincidence uh, and nah, 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 buffoonery. I mean, this Ohio thing, if you think for one second that these bunch of retards I work with retards blew up this thing trying to contain and save the area from uh, toxic chemicals and exploding it into the atmosphere was their idea. I mean, it's insane to even think this is uh, incompetence and buffoonery. It is clearly um, purposeful, like every fucking thing else, um, between that and... The president decided it was time to do a private visit to the Ukraine. We're learning today the extraordinary planning that went into President Biden's secret trip to war-torn Ukraine. It was a visit shrouded in secrecy, to say the least. There was no hint of the drama to come when the president was seen enjoying date night with the first lady at a D.C. restaurant Saturday night. Eight hours later, at 3.30 a.m. Sunday morning, the president slipped out of the White House under cover of darkness, taking off not on Air Force One, but a smaller plane at 4.15, with just two reporters on board sworn to secrecy. They had to surrender their phones at Joint Base Andrews when they met the plane yesterday morning. The White House even published a fake schedule showing the president at work in the Oval Office when he was actually in the air on his way to Ukraine, accompanied by just three aides. Of course, he had to go there to offer them 500 billion, zillion, trillion more dollars and a whole bunch of fucking weapons to go fight the proxy war that will feed 
the Russia China World War Three East versus West World War Three um, scenario. And uh, meanwhile, all oh, hell's breaking loose here in this country. And he's just like, I'm not too worried about. <laughs> And so, on the lighter, more comical side of the buffoonery, have you seen this one? Whether she's explaining the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Venn diagrams, or her love of school buses, Kamala always brings intellectual heft <laughs> to her speeches. And you're in for a treat, kids, because this week, Kamala is going to explain space travel. Bob and Doug returned to the Kennedy Space Center. Holy shit. They suited up, they waved to their families, and they rode an elevator up nearly 20 stories. They strapped in to their seats and waited as the tanks beneath them filled with tens of thousands of gallons of fuel. Wow. And then they launched. Yeah. They did. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You gotta be shit me. <laughs> but again, these are the leaders. These are the people in office. These are the buffoons that they want to blame for all of the inept responses and, and uh, you know, policy changes and all the things that they are doing. But first, let's take a moment and check in on the leader of the football, Hail President Joe Biden, who this week was given a clean bill of health from his physician, huh? who declared Joe is healthy and vigorous and is fit to successfully execute the duties of the presidency. Mm. Huh? Bridge over the, uh, over the over the Holly River. Look, and, and Warsaw. What? Or should be Washoe County in Nevada. We're spending $89 billion to add several lanes. Bro, what are you talking about, man? You know, our natural wonders uh, are, uh, you know, inspire and the reflection inspires our right to take action. is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping, traveling with him. And that's when he traveled 17,000 miles when I was vice president. I don't know that for a fact. What the hell are you talking about? A solid meeting with, um, with, uh, the, uh, make a very good point. Here's the deal. Here's what drives the driver in the states that are affected. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. Brilliant. And Biden was this week in no mood to answer questions about his weird response to random balloons being shut down. <laughs> angry when journalists asked questions about his family's dodgy business dealings with China. Give me a break, man. <laughs> <laughs> it has certainly made the move to problems reactions solution with multiple tragedies happening at once again uh, being made to occur being manifested into existence purposely 
bombarding people so they don't know where to look and so that it feels bigger than them and that there's nothing they can do about all this. Yet understanding the truth about all this shit and taking actionable behavior in the world by not complying with our own enslavement and speaking out and speaking the truth to others about all this shit is what we can do. Because that's the only thing that can change anything. It is quite obvious that we are under attack. Right now. In various ways. And over the past week, it has been visible explosions and fires and train derailments all just happening, all just happened to occur all over the country. And the more visible this gets, that is where the hope that people will find the courage within themselves to finally admit to themselves what is actually going on here. Oh, I got a DM. Okay. Hey, man, I'm an environmental scientist living and working in Montreal right now. I've seen your video in the fallout plume. I just want to give you a bit of a further info for any further videos. After doing some testing, the fresh snowfalls around the area are reaching pH levels around four to five, which can be classified as acidic precipitation. Also, within the same snowfalls, we're measuring contaminants ranging between 1400 and 1800 parts per million. To put that into perspective better, a pH of four or lower will kill most fish and water with a contaminant part per million above 500 and they're right now finding 1400 to 1800 parts per million. Water with a contaminant part per million above 500 is considered unfit for consumption. This is newly gathered data and I feel without a platform myself, I'm unable to do anything about it. There's little to no coverage of in the media and what you're doing to get the message out is what needs to be done in times like this. This is even crazier. Another thing I have to add, well, yes, there is vinyl chloride in the atmosphere and hydrochloric acid in the cloud systems. A lot of what's being found on the ground actually contains phosgene. Now this sounds legit because I don't, in my last video from the, the uh, Washington Post, they said that phosgene was one of the chemicals that's released when the vinyl chloride is, is uh, burned. So this makes sense. This is lining up with the Washington Post article. Uh, a lot of what's being found on the ground actually contains phosgene. This was used uh, as a chemical weapon in World War I, very unsafe to be around. Levels we are seeing are not enough to quickly cause long-term effects, but definitely enough to make people sick and cause further complications later in life. I mean, uh, make no mistake, what we're seeing now is nothing compared to the false flag they're gonna cook up to get people to support this fucking bullshit Ukraine war more and more. They're gonna have to, and they're gonna do it. And the war will continue to rage and build into the East versus West scenario that they are attempting to uh, manipulate into existence. And in order to do that, you gotta get people behind that war. Well, remember what happened in 9-11? People got behind that war and they will do something most likely similar to get people to support the uh, agenda that they are attempting to manufacture. Because these governments are nothing but tyrannical fucking criminals. God damn right. And they have never shown their face more in our lifetimes than they have over the past years. And the question remains, how much more horse shit will people ignore, explain away, uh, wait for a hero to come and save them from? Uh, how much more horse shit will people tolerate till they realize they are gonna have to be the ones to develop the courage within themselves to start speaking out and actively not complying with their own enslavement? Uh, that's the question, Jimmy. <laughs> but the reality is most people still have their heads stuck so far up their ass no! they barely know anything that's going on. And that's why speaking the truth into existence and giving people something to think about and hopefully inspiring a little courage 
within them when their moment and their life comes where they are going to be either faced with complying or not complying with their own enslavement um, manifests in a positive way and they choose not to comply with it because the reality of it is this shit ain't even close to over oh, <laughs> this shit's gonna no. keep going and going like that little fucking energizer bunny they keep going and going and going and going and going <laughs> uh, and the more shit they pile on to people the more emotional responses they can manipulate into fear the more power the government takes from each individual person so as this becomes more and more visible and more and more in our face and more and more tragic hopefully people will begin to lift their heads shake out the fog from their brains and begin to see what's really going on here and then develop the courage within themselves to understand the truth and to speak it into existence and to take actionable behavior by not complying with this horse shit and by speaking the truth whenever they hear the lie and doing their best to help others to shake themselves out of their head fogs because we need people to understand this. So, anyway, I think we'll about leave it there for the week. I have, as always, been rambling on for long enough. And, again, hope all is well, as always. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Get learning, get speaking.